To be honest, when I left school, I was probably in the same shoes as a lot of 16-year-olds now. I had no idea of what I was going to do at all. I had sort of good grades, uh, Bs and a few As, so I thought really I could do whatever I wanted. So actually, I, I went to do A-levels, uh, maths, physics, computing and um, psychology. And I thought this, this is just a range of uh, thingy, um, a level so I could go on to really what I wanted to do. But then I discovered A-levels just wasn't for me at all. So I went on to a, a B-tech and then, as I said, that was when I uh, started to see all the apprenticeships going and um, I thought engineering was the one for me. Yes. And um, I seen the apprenticeship was going with the hospital and that, obviously, you know, that made me think a bit because I thought it was a really good trust to work for. So I just applied for it and then it went on from there. Um, well, to be honest, uh, the aim was to actually go on to a degree itself because I thought to myself, why am I going to be doing a degree and put myself in all that debt when I can join an apprenticeship, do a BTEC level 3 onto H&C and then hopefully a degree after, which would put me in hardly any debt and I'd be getting paid and have practical experience all at the same time. Being 18, I think, and driving, well, nobody that's 18 and, and, that's, and that's driving and going to college can expect to pay for all these things. So really, an apprenticeship is a good course because whilst I'm actually learning, I'm getting paid, so I can actually pay for all the things that I want. And I'm actually working full time, so I'm actually getting into the routine from young. So when I'm actually older, I'll have a lot more experience than most people that are going for jobs, really. We have a set schedule from 8 to 4, Monday to Thursday, and 8 to 12 on Friday. and. Um, Regularly, our, our manager will come in over a few months and just check how we're doing. And we have uh, log books and sort of weekly reports which actually go to our manager so they can actually see how we're doing and our progress. It's actually four years, which is, it seems like a, a long time, but to be honest, four years will go in a snap of your fingers. They say that the place isn't guaranteed, but really, if you actually think about it, why would a company be putting all this time and effort and money into you if they was not going to put you onto the actual job? Well, obviously, if, if you was going to be coming to just mess about and actually not do your job properly, then obviously that would be a consequence. But if you actually come and you actually have a desire for engineering, then really on to six, seven, eight, maybe even 20 years, I'll be looking back and I'll be in the NHS, maybe even a manager. But obviously that's a long way down the line, but hopefully.